we have sold hundreds of properties and 99% of them are to investors. These are the people who are not likely to run out of money during their retirement. Hi, my name is Le Ping. There are three main ways that a retiree will run out of money quickly during their retirement. Number one is about uh, having a medical emergency and they are not prepared. Usually that means a serious and major illness that requires prolonged expensive medical treatment. So the solution to this is really to speak with a financial planner and, and ensure yourself sufficiently. Number two is about overspending. And there are a few subcategories. First one, we all have a, it's about, first one is about overspending on ourselves. We all have a bucket list, a, a list of things that we like to do before we pass on, right? And most of them involves a more expensive, expensive items or items that requires time, such as travel. A lot of people aspire to travel. Uh, maybe to see the northern light, a major trip to see the northern light, a world cruise or travel the world. Even if it's not a major travel, most people have travel on their list when they retire. And that means a trip every other month to anywhere, places near or far. Traveling can be uh, quite draining on your financial resources. So this is one area you want to uh, look at. Another one is about, uh, in the name of investment, you know, after we retire, many people, they can withdraw their CPF fund at about uh, 55 years old. And remember, CPF is actually meant for retirement. But many people may do it the wrong way or use a CPF wrongly. They, they, think, that, they think that they can do better. So instead of keeping their CPF in CPF to earn the higher interest and high stable interest, they use their CPF fund to invest. They withdraw fund and then they invest in, they could invest in uh, stocks and shares um, without much knowledge. Uh, so I, I should say they actually gamble on stocks and shares market. Or another one, they start a business. They start a business in their retirement, thinking that, uh, thinking that they can generate income. I'm not sure what gives them the confidence that you've been an employee for the whole of your life and then suddenly at uh, retirement, you can become a successful businessman. Do you think that is, that is a reasonable assumption? My opinion is keep your fund safe and be conservative when you are at you know retirement age. Another category, this is not about uh, ourselves, it's about our loved ones. And some retired people can be very generous to their adult children. So what do they do? Uh, finance them their lifestyle, uh, let them have deposit on the house, uh, finance their, what's that, the home renovation, finance them when they want to have a car, which is also a very expensive thing in Singapore. All these are again draining money. You, They are using other people's money and it's your money. I, I suggest that you refer them to the banks. You know, nowadays the bank interest rates are quite low, right? Refer to the banks for better accountability if they cannot manage their own spending. They cannot control spending within their means. Just refer them to the bank. It'll be easier. And the third one is about simply not having other sources of income. We should all be responsible and try to, uh, when, we, when, we still, when you still have a job, try to develop other sources of income because eventually most of us we have to retire you know even if you are self-employed you don't have a retirement age somehow you will stop working sometime later so when you still when you're still working have a source of income 
you or you I mean you could be earning a high salary or you could be making money in your business at that time I mean of course put money away and think of how to create another source of income to power your to power your retirement or to uh, another way to put it is uh, to build cash machine for your retirement there are actually among our different buyers there are actually many of them doing that 99% of them actually because they buy properties for investment and properties they provide passive income right by the time these people are retired their properties should be fully paid so they will have a passive source of income many of them are also building a property portfolio so they have more than one properties you see you do not need to have like five ten properties for your retirement it all depends on your lifestyle your CPF should provide you with some uh, retirement uh, funds as well and you just need to work out how much extra you need to finance your lifestyle and many of them all our buyers they're using it uh, they're they're investing in Australian properties because Australian properties are lower price to start with lower price uh, higher rental yield and the title also tend to be freehold so I mean these uh, properties can provide them with a source of retirement fund fund and after that when they pass on the this portfolio can still be passed on to the next generation tax free which is a very good idea right I mean even if you are a single person you have no one to pass your properties to that's all right you can think about doing some good to the society how about setting up a scholarship in your own name huh? and your name will live on forever I think that's a very good idea so feel free to uh, contact me to find out more and also maybe uh, attend for attend our coming uh, seminar thank you so much